if you have clicked on this video, congratulations. You have officially won yourself a trip to happiness. Good job. Hi, my name is Liz Smith. If you're watching this tutorial, you obviously want to know how to do a blue smoky eye or you want to know what the heck I'm doing or you just want to watch my stinking bloopers because I'm so funny. Probably not, but you get the picture. If you want to see how I achieved this look right here, you know what I'm saying? Then keep on watching. Hi everyone. First, I'm going to tone my face. So I'm going to get the excess oil and everything off my face. So, BRB. Okay, so after I go in with my toner, I'm going to moisturize. Now I'm going to prime with Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. I have a travel size. Okay, so next I'm going to do foundation. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439, the little buffer, and then the LC Micro Silk Foundation. Uh, this is in the shade Cameo. What I love about this foundation is when you layer it, it becomes full coverage, but only if you let it dry. And it does apply better with a beauty blender, so I'm probably going to use a beauty blender for that one. Go Dalmatian for a minute. Yes, my face is still broken out, but it is going away, so bear with me. And now we just bounce away. Okay, so after I let that set, I'm going to go ahead and apply another layer, if you will. So next for my concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way. It is in the shade Light. This stuff is incredible. I think I've only used it two times, and it kind of smells like coconut. And it's hydrating, but lightweight. It almost reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Concealers, but a little bit more full coverage. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the pointed end of the Beauty Blender and blend all of that out. This concealer is almost in my top three favorite concealers. So next I'm going to take the RCMA No Color Powder. I just poured a little bit in the cap and I'm going to go ahead and set that under eye. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, I'm going to dip it in the cap and then just set that under eye. I'm also going to set the rest of the places that I had concealed. This method keeps it from moving around during the day, from breaking up, from getting oil. Pretty much makes your concealer indestructible throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and cream bronze and I'm going to be using the new NARS Multiple Hot Sand and Laguna. Uh, this will be a first impressions for this product so let's see. We're going to go ahead and put that right here and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that part out before I move anywhere else oh I'm actually very impressed with this I'm gonna go ahead and do half my face and then do the other half so it doesn't dry So one thing I am noticing about this multiple stick, it blends a lot more effortlessly than I thought it would. It still dries. It blends a lot more evenly than I thought it would. So first impression, I'm impressed on the Laguna end. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the hot sand end. This is the highlighting end. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beauty Blender uh, clean side and just go ahead and dip that right on. Okay, so the highlighter end I'm not so impressed with. Um, it might apply better if you just do it directly on it and then pounce it out. Actually, this works a lot better. It's not as pigmented as I would have liked and it's kind of chunky. Whereas the Laguna end blends a lot more evenly. Okay, to set a cream bronzer or cream contour, you'll set it with about the same shade or a darker uh, powder. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the same shade Laguna on this big fluffy um, Morphe E53 and just run that over where I just contoured. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick off camera. Um, if you want an updated, in detail, in depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, then just comment below and let me know. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with the MAC Prep and Prime. So the first shade I'm gonna do on my eyelids is Rule. This is by MAC. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my crease. The next shade I'm going to put in the crease is Metamorphosis in the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, and I'm just going to layer that right on top of Rule. Blend until your hands fall off. The next shade I'm going to go ahead and put in the crease is I Got the Blues by Morphe. I'm going to go ahead and put that under the blue that we just put. The next shade I'm going to do on the lid is Paranoid by Kat Von D. It's just a fun, bright blue. I'm gonna take MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray it on the Morphe M204 to give that blue more intensity. I pack it and then I do a windshield wiper motion right in the crease so it gets close to that crease line. The next shade I'm gonna do is from the Makeup Forever palette doesn't really have a name. I'm going to take that same brush and go ahead and take this dark turquoise and put it on the outer corners of the lid. Now taking a Smith 247 brush, that's a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take that same dark blue and put it right here on the outer crease and create a V. A cool trick that I learned from Jaclyn Hill is if you take a beauty blender, a synthetic brush, I'm taking the Morphe M460 and you take it with translucent powder, you can clean up the edges just like you can clean a contour. So you just press it right up that line and you're pretty much baking away that excess powder. It ain't the cutest look but it works. So now I'm just going to take a Sigma E38 and brush that away. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the lash line. Using the Sigma E54, I'm going to dip into Metamorphosis from the Alice in Wonderland palette and run that all across the lash line. So now using the Morphe B18, it is just a pencil brush. I'm going to dip into Bandersnatch, it's a dark blue, it is also in the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, and I'm going to take that pencil brush and shade it only from the middle to the outer corner of that lash line. And I'm going to focus this mainly closer to the lash line and blend it down. And also connect it to that outer V. If there's harsh lines on the top, I dipped my fluffiest blending brush into translucent powder and I'm going to run that right across the top to kind of diffuse those harsh lines. Next I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Deviant, I think that's how you say it, and I'm going to put that on the lower and upper lash line. So I'm also going to take the eyeliner and put that on the outer corner of the lash line, lower, and then smoke it out with the same medium sweeper Sigma brush. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and go ahead and apply mascara and then I'm going to pick out my falsies. Before I apply mascara, I'm going to go ahead and run a thin line of black liner so it will cover the lash band of whatever falsies I choose. So in my BoxyCharm, I'm pretty sure it came in my BoxyCharm, I have this Ampla Mascara Amplifying Mascara Serum and I'm going to go ahead and try that out. While I let that dry, I'm going to go ahead and pop a little bit of color in the inner corner. I'm going to take this. I'm not exactly sure what shade, color, company this is. I got it at iMats. It's an icy mint blue. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. 
For lashes, I'm going to do the Ardell Dimmy Lashes. They're not the Wispies, they're not the Dimmy Wispies, just the Dimmies. And I'm going to go ahead and cut them to fit my eye. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> these lashes on here. I'm going to go ahead and pop these on here. I am notorious for getting lash glue on my eyelid. It is what it is. It's probably why I don't use the dark lash glue too. For these lashes, I didn't want to go too dramatic because I don't want it to cover up what I just did. But I want it to be enough for someone to be like, hey, your lashes are straight fire. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm always gonna use the MAC Extended Play until I find a better one, which I haven't yet. I'm just gonna throw some on here. You can't see me making a crazy face right now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's all good, it's all good. We fixed it. The thing about filming and doing my makeup off camera, I get so close to my mirror, like, I'm talking comfort zone in your face. I can smell your breath, kind of close, you know what I'm saying? A little advice for people doing this, go ahead and do your eyes first so you can wipe off your excess mess because you might get blue in your foundation. Let me zoom y'all out here and get out of my bubble. For lips, I'm gonna do a very nude, plain old Jan lip color because if my eyes are very bold we don't want the lip to be bold unless you're feeling bold i'm feeling pretty boring for my lips so i'm going to go ahead and use mac strip down and line my lips and now i'm going to use kat von d's bow and arrow liquid lip i need to make a list do you ever just need to make a list of like your steps so that way you don't have to go and like forget something especially when you film you're just like crap forgot to tell them about this I'm gonna go ahead and use the slay all day setting spray by Gerard cosmetics this is the lavender it smells stinking amazing and it is cooling so when I spray it I literally feel like somebody just spit gum at my face great I would bathe in this. I would literally bathe in this. All right, and there you have it. There's the finished look, a blue, smoky eye, kind of daytime appropriate if you're, you know, like me. <laughs> if you like this tutorial, thumbs up, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more fun videos to come. Bye!